It's been a while since I've come here. This place is always filled with sheep. Yeah, I know. The sheep are a bit confused, don't you think? You could call it that. I say they're very confused. They never notice what's going on around them. <laughs> I bet you, if we stood right in the middle of them, they wouldn't even notice. And how would we do that? That's easy. We disguise ourselves as sheep and go and visit them. They'll think we're sheep, and when we're among the herd, we'll start running and shouting and we'll scare them. But why do you want to scare them when they're so peaceful? And besides, where are we going to find the costumes? Ah, uh, it's a scientific experiment, Moo Moo. I want to prove that they won't notice a thing unless we scare them. As far as the, the costumes, that's easy. Since sheep have so much wool once a year, they have to be sheared. And all the wool is kept. We'll go and get that wool. And what should we tell the others? The truth, that they should wait here and that we'll be disguised as sheep. Momo and I are going to do a few things. We'll be right back. What are you two up to? We're not up to anything. Rita wants to do a science experiment, even if I don't really understand it. We're going to go look for some wool to disguise ourselves. <laughs> yes, that. That's it, to disguise ourselves. We'll be right back. Those two are definitely up to something. Today they seem pretty calm, and I don't think they're doing anything bad. That bit about wanting to disguise themselves for some scientific experiment doesn't sit right with me. When they come back, we'll see where it was they went. This disguise is going to be awesome. Come on out. Come out and let me see it. Wait a second, ah. I've almost got it. <laughs> you left some wool for me, didn't you? Are you almost ready? Woo! Everything's set. Are you ready, Moo Moo? Do I look like a sheep? Wow, that's awesome. You look like a long-necked sheep. <laughs> now it's my turn. Hurry and come out already. That fits you perfectly. You'll see how cool this is going to be. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen those two. Where could they have gone? Don't worry, they'll be here soon. Look at those two strange looking sheep. Yeah, they do seem odd. I don't know, there's something strange about those two. Are you all blind? Those two sheep are Moo Moo and Rita disguised as sheep. Oh, you're right. Where are they going? <laughs> this is easier than I thought it would be. This is cool. Now what do we do? Let's keep bellowing, and soon you'll see how my scientific experiment will unfold successfully. What? What are they doing? Let them play. Nothing's going to happen to them. That's not necessarily true. When Alfreda the sheepdog sees that they're not sheep, she'll throw a fit and, and stop biting them. Shouldn't we warn them? Let them learn a lesson. Okay, Moo Moo, are you ready to scare them now? <laughs> yeah, yes I am. How do we do it? We'll count to three and then we'll scare them. All right, sounds good. One, two, I hope you both learned your lesson. Jump in the water, Rita! Woof, woof, woof. That 
That's brilliant. I'm floating. All right, I'm floating too. Wool doesn't float. Momo, where did you get this wool? Quack, quack, quack. Quack. Look over there. It's quack. Momo. Everyone look. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> hey guys, you coming in? Milo, you coming? Alfred, you coming? Don't worry about me. You go ahead. Hello. Hello. Quack, 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 quack. And remember, you can hide wherever you want. But if I find you, you will have to let me play with your toys for two whole days. Now is everyone ready to start the game? So, we can hide wherever we'd like to, right? Yes, wherever you want. And I have to find you in less than ten minutes. If not, you can go back home and I lose. So is everybody ready? I'll start counting. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1! Ready or not, here I come. You better be well hidden, because if I find you, I get to play with your toys for two whole days. Hmm. Ooh! There's no way she'll find me. But where could she have gone? Well, I don't know if it's better if I stay here or find another spot to hide. Ah! You scared the pants off me. Ha ha ha. How did you find me? It was a lot easier than I thought. Do I really have to give you all my toys? Well, since you're my best friend, I don't think you have to let me keep them for two days. Oh, thank you, Moo Moo. I get to keep them for three days. Come on! I don't like this game anymore. I'll see you later. I need to go find the others. If I tell you where Olga is, will you give me a break with the toys? Let me think about it. No, I'll find her anyway. There's no way she'll find me here. It's impossible. Among all these trees, there's no way. I see you. But how'd you find me? I could tell you how, but I'm not going to. I'm sure that I'm going to win. There's no way she'll find me here. I know that she's already found Rita and Olga, but she'll never find me. There's no way she can find me with all this water. Plus, she's only got four minutes left to find me. She's never going to make it. Ah! You really scared me, Moo Moo. How, how is that possible? There's no way you could have found me. It, it's physically impossible. What do you want me to say? I'm the best. See you later. I've got to go look for the last two. 
There's only two minutes left to go. There's no way she'll find me. I'm gonna win for sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That was close. Achoo! You better take care of that cold, Milo. How is that possible? I was sure you wouldn't be able to find me and that I'd win. You still need to find Talalo. He's our absolute last hope. You only have 20 seconds left before time runs out. I think we already know who's going to win. Talalo is the best at hiding since he can hide wherever he wants. Woof, woof. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I see you. Talalo's the one who fell. I'm going to have such a good time with all your toys. Thank you. Wow, what luck to be able to play with all our toys. Well, I'll let you slide if we play the reverse. I'll hide and all of you have to look for me. All right. 30, 30 29, 29, 28, 28 27, 27, 27, 26, 26 25, 25, 24. 24. Strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll see there's nothing there. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. <gasps> While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters, and all of a sudden we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. <sighs> They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go 
with no! it. No! There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush! What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all! Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Oh, lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye! Uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Mumu, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh, don't do no. it. If you mess with the lion, don't he's going to no. take revenge on <laughs> us. It's Alfred. He really scared all of us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist. But I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! 